Oh, hey, what do you do when you're a stand-up comedian named Rachel Friedland and you are dropping your first comedy album and you may or may not need a cute outfit to wear to your album release party? <gasps> we go to the thrift store. So this is the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. They have everything. They have clothing, jewelry, furniture, more furniture, housewares, decor. It is basically Mecca for thrifters. And can you imagine getting your Tommy Bahama anywhere else? Ugh, I can't. Okay, Rach, what are you looking for today? Okay, so I would like an outfit to wear to my album release party. Ideally, like a fun skirt or dress, anything that calls to me really, that's gonna be fun and cute and make me look delightful. Because your album name is? Certified Delight because there's so much to offer here. We're also gonna keep an eye out for a floor lamp that I would like for my living room. I feel like the last time we all hung out, we were painting my living room. She's gone through a big transformation. So I'm looking for some like more finishing touches to my space. Probably one of my favorite things about this whole thrift store is not just the selection. It's really the wind work that happens as you. I feel like I'm in a warehouse. This right is now. why, I did not notice, guys. Yeah. Have you seen? I can't explain, those are probably 12 foot blades. Oh my God, I feel like Honestly, we're in one of those like Ots infomercials where like, you can wear it anyway. <laughs> it really is. 23 different ways. Oh no, this is, we are really Destiny's Childing right now. Roll into the club. Huge reveal. Uh, yeah, I think we found it. <laughs> well, that was a great video guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Is that a fun throw pillow? Guys, you can make anything a throw pillow. I mean, this this belt actually can be a throw pillow. Honestly though, very cute kind of art deco-y vibe. <gasps> you want to guess the color of my underwear? Oh my God. Honestly, that Brat. is so good. Yeah. Twelve ninety nine dollars for Brat Fall. For Brat Wear? I think so. Also, um, I think the real one you need to wear. What? <gasps> wow. Explain. Representing my hometown, Long Beach, California. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, honestly, great winter sweater. However, upon closer inspection, we've seen better winters. But most importantly, swimsuits, buy one, get one free. So it is a little overwhelming. They honestly have so much stuff. I mean, look at these ladies. These ladies of the night lamps, so pretty. Look at this 80s iridescent. Okay, honestly, these are a sleigh. $54.99, a little pricey. Sorry, also there's like a million air fryers here. You get an air fryer. <laughs> yeah, you get an air fryer. I just, I just, air fryers seem so expensive, but everyone loves them. And I'm always like, I don't know that I can commit to that, but this is a nice way to be like, for $20. To test it out. Yeah, I can see if that works for me. Oh, this is my favorite thing of all thrift stores. Okay, okay. Vintage hair dryer. Total 1960s. It's greasy and it smells, and that says to me that that has a vintage hair product on it. Now look, in a thrift store from time to time, you're gonna see a piano. What are you gonna see, four? Piano. Four pianos and an organ? They don't just have lamps, okay? They don't have just floor lamps. They have like actual light fixtures as well, which is pretty impressive. So they have this piece right here, which is a combination floor lamp and side table. Rach, remember when you told me last week that you hate those? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you hate them? Um, because I think they're doing two things poorly. Look how low you'd have to be sitting to actually set something on I'm that. Like, my, my knee is above it. What are you doing? <laughs> something about them as well is that they have just endless, endless sofas. Look at this sea of sofas. The sofa game is unmatched. Very strong. And look, look, at, a look at this separate... 12 feet curved printed. Guys, patterned sofas are coming back. They really are. A nice upholstery cleaning here. I mean, this, this, this is actually is great. Stunning. It is. $159, what a steal. Here are 10 things I would get if I had room in my house. Number one, these baskets. Four, $2.99 each. This is a little baguette coin purse. Don't need it, but hello to my cat named Baguette. ASMR. This beautiful boho carved little nail organizer, 
uh, and to be honest, it's plastic. But you wouldn't have known if I didn't tell you. I would also buy this beautiful tufted ottoman on wheels and I would reupholster it. Shades lounges, guys, I mean, is this amazing? And I would buy this entire piece simply for this adorable little piece of hardware. <gasps> Powder blue glamour. This is very like 1960s. Oh, guys, this is, this is the color of my wedding shoes. It's meant to be. Oh my gosh. I can't fit it, but, but damn. I would also get this gorgeous luxuries, heavy brass coat rack with glamorous hooves. And Rach is a horse girl, so I think it's really good that we have this representation in the media. Is there something we should know about hoof care for for horses? You gotta, it's like brushing your teeth. You gotta do it every day. How long does it take to like hoof to a horse? A, to pick a hoof? Okay, yeah. first of all, Katie, sorry. Sorry, folks, we're gonna learn something today. For those of you who are not on hoof cleaning TikTok, it's called picking a hoof, where you pick the dirt out of the hoof. Um, maybe five to seven seconds, depending on how kind of like, you want, how thorough you want to be. Okay, we had some hooves, but uh, these beastly paws are um, kind of terrifying. Look at that glamorous vending machine. Imagine the like, imagine the break room Have you drama. ever been more thirsty in your life? When Truly. You look at this image of a soda being poured on an island. When you crack these open, they're spicy. And you hear that. Yeah. Oh, Foley artist. Okay. Okay, guys, this is a Actually, it looks like it's a 14-foot, two-tone blue giant sofa. So let's go to the 90s, shall we? Where everything's a bit trippy. This is a crazy um, plaid, wood-paneled, acid-trippy stitching. Wood, a wood grain overlay on plaid? It feels like something you would walk into a Airbnb at Big Bear and yes. you'd be like, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Uh, yeah, $99. Oh, okay, Rach is taking that home. <laughs> So there are a ton of sections of this thrift store and this kind of middle area is where a lot of their like fancy glam kind of grand furniture is. And I don't know who or what their source is, but every time I come, it's like someone's palatial compound has been emptied because their heirs were fighting over it or something. Oh, I've just stepped into my new living room. Thanks for joining me. But Today we're gonna learn about the French Revolution. <laughs> It's actually giving me so much grandma, very bubby core, the like two texture, fuzzy couch. Yes. Legs, swans, glamour. So my sister Ingrid is here with us. Oh, hi. And she pointed out this beauty. So I love a piece of furniture that holds the secrets of its past. So let's see, we have some, some drawers that are very obvious, but there's some other elements that may not be so obvious. Secret letters to hide the, uh, uh, the letters of my stepchild's birth mother. Yes. And also down here, I think. Yes, yes. Oh. <gasps> That's a jewel. <laughs> That's a jewel. <laughs> Only 350. Hey guys, uh, nothing nothing exciting to see here except um, it's from a blood bank. Presumably. You know me, be positive. <laughs> Although I never need one, I have a real fondness for vintage filing cabinets, of which there are many, including this peculiar one, which I thought was like an upside down drawer, but actually <gasps> reveal from the top, make it drop. Okay, wait, we found some, some Rach gold. Tell us about it. We found something interesting. This is a um, little bench, like a little workout bench, and the smallest barbell cuff I've ever seen. Barbell cuffs are these little plastic things that keep your weights on the uh, barbell while you're using it. These are 20 pound weights on each end, and I, this barbell must weigh like five pounds. Dang, rage. <gasps> okay, freehand, is that what it's called? <laughs> freehand. Freehand would be if they were separate weights, the oh, okay. little dumbbells. This is a little barbell for you, my baby. <laughs> How cute. Oh, you guys, I love these so much. They're rare to find. This is only $35. I wish I had anywhere to put it in my house. This is called a gossip bench because it would hold a telephone and you would sit here and you would gossip. 
and they're usually probably this is probably like i don't know 40s to 60s i don't have anywhere to put do i do i oh to do this and then to reupholster the bottom guys there is nothing that breaks my heart more than seeing actually an incredible piece at an incredible price that i could make an absolute beauty and not being able to take it home with me because i just don't have enough room but guess who does my beautiful sister who's holding the camera we're gonna keep it at her place and we're gonna reimagine it in a future episode all right guys i didn't get anything rach did you get anything i struck out today she did not but guess who got something let's go <laughs> Even though we didn't really talk about it much, is there anything you want to say about your comedy album that comes out or that is out by now? Um, it's my debut comedy album. Please go have a watch. At the time that you're watching this video, it is live and it's my first comedy album. So it's really exciting. It's going to have a body of work out in the world. It's stories about my mom, dad, my grandma who lived to be 101, all sorts of stuff. I think it's very sweet and I think it's a delight. A certified delight. Oh, but really quick before we go, somebody just came by and pointed out that you know that this is very like authentic and vintage because it has the metal cap ends. So we don't know where it came from, but we're excited to make it over. So stay tuned. Okay, bye.